We started to work with red blood cells a few years ago, and we wanted to make these red blood cells smart and use them to fight diseases. We put together an interdisciplinary research team between science and health science, between biophysics and chemical biology. Based on our research to find ways to produce smart red blood cells that can fight diseases by, for instance, attacking bacterial infections, we had the idea to anchor the spike protein in human red blood cells to create virus-like particles. These functionalized red blood cells look like a coronavirus from the outside, but are completely harmless and lead to a strong immune response. Red blood cells are natural assistants to the immune system. So when they flow through our body, they can actually track or catch pathogens and eventually present them to the immune system. And this way, the immune system becomes aware of the pathogen and can react to the invasion. Now we hijack this mechanism by modifying our red blood cells and present this way targeted antigens to the immune system. In our case, it was the COVID-19 spike protein that then caused an antibody reaction and trigger an immune response. The platform is very versatile and universal. So once we have identified the spike protein, we can easily anchor it and embed it into the red blood cells again and adapt the vaccine to different strains or other viruses.